Welcome to another edition of Coonrod Corner, brought to you by the Rogers Corporation. Today's topic, what is TCDK and why is it important? Now here's your host, John Coonrod. Hello, welcome to Coonrod's Corner. My name is John Coonrod. I am a senior market development engineer for Rogers Corporation, Advanced Circuit Materials Division. Today's topic is going to be, what is TCDK and why is that important? Well, TCDK is actually a property that all materials possess, and it's really the temperature coefficient of dielectric constant. And uh, the property varies from one material to another, depending on the type of the material, the type of filler it has, uh, the, the makeup of the material. But TCDK is the nature of the beast for all circuit materials. They all have this property. And in some cases, some materials, just by the way they're formulated, will have better performance with TCDK than others. But essentially what this means is it's how much the dielectric constant, DK, will change with a change in temperature. And the change of dielectric constant with a change in temperature can mean a change in circuit performance. So this can be concerning for end-use applications that are out in the field in a changing environment. The TCDK has units of parts per million per degree C. And as a general rule of thumb, uh, 50 parts per million per degree C or less is considered good, and that's in the absolute value sense. And uh, generally, most circuit materials formulated for high frequency uh, applications have a well-behaved TCDK, generally below 50 parts per million per degree C. There are some exceptions. Now, PTFE is a material that's been used in high frequency applications for many, many years. And it does have an interesting uh, anomaly that happens right around room temperature when you look at thermal properties. And that is a uh, nonlinear response, and it's a nonlinear response for several different properties in the material, and one of them is TCDK. Some formulation changes have been done where you use the PTFE laminate mixed in with certain type of fillers to adjust the TCDK to bring that down and to also make that nonlinear response more linear and more well behaved. There are also laminates used in the high frequency industry that are not PTFE, not thermal plastic, but thermal set. And those also can be developed and formulated to have very well behaved TCDKs. And then finally, if you look at some materials that are not uh, formulated well for TCDK, you can see a pretty dramatic difference in how they perform for dielectric change with a change of temperature. So the following chart is showing a variety of different materials. And these materials are uh, PTFE materials. There are also some uh, thermal set hydrocarbon materials. And there's also one material that is really not a microwave material or formulated for high frequency performance. And it's pretty outstanding. You can see that's the one that is more of a diagonal curve from the bottom left to the top right of the chart. That is actually a high performance FR4, but it's really not formulated to have a good TCDK. So that's a good example of what you really do not want in a high frequency application. Now what you do want for high frequency applications are the curves that are more linear and that are focused right around 1.0 for the normalized dielectric constant that's been normalized to room temperature and looking at dielectric constant as it changes with temperature. So the one blue curve on this chart is actually a PTFE material, but it's been formulated with a ceramic filler that makes it very stable for TCDK, and that is the Rogers RO3003 materials. Now, another material that's also well behaved is the pink curve and the yellow curve. And the pink curve is actually the RO4003C laminate. And that is not a thermal plastic or a PTFE. It's a hydrocarbon based material, but it is formulated to have very well behaved TCDK. As you can see, it stays very close to 1.0, which is ideal. And also, the other curve that is very well behaved is the yellow curve, which is the Rogers RO4350B. Also a similar product, except this has a flame retardant, so it is UL rated. Now the curves that have a little bit of a bend right around 25 degrees C, or room temperature, these are how normal PTFE materials behave if they do not have some kind of filler to help adjust the performance for TCDK. So some ceramic fillers, as I've shown in the previous chart, do affect how the PTFE behaves, and you can have PTFE laminates that behave very well for dielectric constant over a range of temperatures. Uh, and the same can be said with the thermal set materials. Now, where all this really makes sense in the real world is how does TCDK uh, apply in end-use applications? So I'll give a quick example of this, and uh, it happens more often than one may think. And that is a microwave circuit may be fine-tuned and um, characterized very well and done in a lab, which is in a controlled environment. 
once the application is put out into the field, now it starts to experience the change in temperature from daytime to nighttime, or it could be from winter to summer. And these temperature changes can affect the dielectric constant if the material has a TCDK that's not well behaved. And that means as the dielectric constant changes with the change in temperature, now the circuit performance will change. And that can be very troublesome, of course, and can actually have field failures, which is a very bad thing, obviously. So understanding uh, the worst case scenario is the goal of what the engineer should be doing when they're doing an evaluation on a microwave application before it goes to the field. So they do want to test it for a worst case scenario of the uh, temperature ranges that the circuit will see and understand the performance differences. Now another example of uh, this in relation to microwave performance is a chart that I have shown here. This chart is a part of a microwave circuit and is a bandpass filter that is edge coupled and it's a microstrip. And these filters were all built to have a center frequency right around 2 gigahertz. And what I did was make these circuits on three different materials. One material is a PTFE material with a relatively higher dielectric constant of about 6.15. The other materials are the RT Deroid 6002, which has a lower dielectric constant around 3, 2.94 and then the Rogers 4350B materials with a dielectric constant about 3.66. And what I did was I, I subjected these uh, circuits to a range of temperatures and then I recorded the shift in frequency and back calculated what that means for a TCDK. And here you can see what kind of change a person could expect for the filter center frequency as it's sweeping across a range of temperatures. And in the case of the well-behaved materials, the RT Deroid 6002 and the RO 4350B, there is a very minimal amount of shift in center frequency. As compared to the PTFE materials that has a higher TCDK, well, you can see in the chart there that there's a much greater response and the center frequency of the filter is changing pretty significantly. This concludes this session of Coonrod's Corner. Thank you for watching. For additional information and technical tools, if you are not already a member, join the Rogers Technology Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more of Coonrod's Corner and other informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Rog mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.